we are going to um, write an indirect proof. Um, sometimes they're called proof by contradiction. So right here, we're given the fact that we have a triangle and its um, variables, its vertices are A, B, and C. Our proof is, what we want to prove, is that triangle ABC can have at most one right angle. Now, when you're doing a proof by contradiction, you take the sentence that you're wanting to prove and you negate it, you change it, you make it mean the opposite of what it says. So, um, instead of saying that it can have at most one right, right angle, I'm gonna have to say something like, it has two right angles and then work with that and prove that that's a contradiction. So I'm gonna start off by saying, let's assume that triangle ABC has two right angles. So that's the opposite of what we wanted to prove. Let's say angle A and angle B are both right angles. So we're telling you that these two are the ones that are right angles. Now remember that right angles are 90 degrees. By the definition of a right angle, both angles equal 90 degrees, okay? Then think about the triangle sum theorem. The triangle sum theorem stated that angle A added to angle B added to angle C would equal 180 um, because all the degrees in interior angles of a triangle will always be 180. If we substitute 90 degrees into A and B, it'll look like this. Angle A is 90, angle B is 90, angle C we're looking for must equal 180. Therefore, let's add the 90 and 90 and get 180. 180 plus the measure of angle C equals 180. We're solving for C. We will subtract 180 from both sides and we're left with these canceling and these canceling. The measure of angle C equals zero degrees. Well, here's the problem. If you've got a triangle, you cannot have a zero degree angle. Triangle cannot have an angle measure of zero degrees. This contradicts the given information. When we said that, let's assume it has two right angles, that will not work. Therefore, triangle ABC can have at most one right angle.